Hi everyone, I am Pratima. So today our video is introduction to a rational numbers. So this is in CBLC class 9 syllabus. We have read natural number, whole number, integers. This time we will concentrate on rational numbers. So let us begin. I'll start with a proverb. Mathematics is the queen of science and number theory is the queen of mathematics. That means number theory has a very important role in mathematics. So we start from the number system from the natural numbers. You know that natural number starts from 1, 2, 3, 4 and there is no end of it. And you will be surprised to know that previously when there was no number system, can you imagine how the people were counting at the time? They were counting with the pebbles, they were counting with their fingers. Then gradually number system was emerged and 1, 2, 3, 4, so on. And you know that there is no end of the natural numbers. After that, when we include 1, it, it is called whole numbers. So, whole number starts from 0, 1, 2, 3. Again, it has no end. Then, we included in the number system all negative numbers. When negative numbers are included in whole numbers, it is called as integers. Yes. So, integers means there is no end in the left side that means it there is no end of minimum it can be minus 100 minus 99 minus this uh, 97 so on minus 3 minus 2 minus 1 0 1 2 3 it will go on adding the numbers so negative numbers positive numbers including 0 is called integers and you have already studied in the lower classes. So, natural number is represented by capital N, whole number is represented by W, integer is represented by integers. So, today we will learn about the last one, rational numbers, which is denoted by Q. So, rational numbers are in form of P by Q, where P and Q are integers and Q is not equal to 0 are called as rational numbers. Here the denominator is not equal to 0. Or the collection of numbers in the form P by Q where Q is always greater than 0 or we don't write Q as negative. We may write P negative but Q will be always positive is denoted by capital Q. Rational numbers is denoted by capital Q. So, what is the definition of rational number? Rational numbers include natural numbers, whole numbers, integers and all negative and positive fractions. So, see this example. 1 by 2 is a rational number. Minus 11 by 21 is also a rational number. Now, it is, I have written 2 by 2. So, 2 by 2 is equal to 1. That means 1 is a natural number, 1 is a whole number, 1 is a integer, 1 is also a rational number. But, if I take 1 by 2 half, it cannot be a whole number, it cannot be a natural number, it cannot be integers. So, an integer can be a rational number, but rational number cannot be an integer. Similarly, 0, 0 is your a whole number. 0 by 2 is also a rational number. So, era 0 can be a rational number. But if I will write 23 by 25, that cannot be written as whole number. So, any numbers what you have read can be written as rational number number form. So, so, this is the figure of representing the number system. We call it Venn diagram 
first is natural number this is the smallest one so it is inside and at the center then when you zero included it is whole number so it is bigger than that then that means all the natural number are within the whole number next is when you will add negative numbers to whole numbers you will get the integers so a natural number can be whole number a whole number can be also integers but all the integer cannot be whole numbers similarly a integer can be a rational numbers but all rational numbers cannot be integers So state whether the following statements are true or false. First is all integers are rational numbers. All integers are rational numbers. Yes, all integers are rational numbers. Next, all natural numbers are integers. All natural numbers are also integers they are positive integers yes it is true next statement is all integers are natural numbers all integers are natural number all integers can all the integers will be natural number can minus 2 will be a natural number no so it is for next statements all whole numbers are natural numbers can zero be a natural number no so it is wrong it is false next all natural number are whole numbers yes all natural numbers are whole numbers because natural number is within the whole numbers so it is right All rational numbers are whole numbers. Can half be a whole number? 1 by 3 is a whole number? No. So all rational numbers are not whole numbers. So it is false. Okay. So let us take a worksheet for our better comprehension of the number system. So first number is 4. Now we have to encircle whether it belongs to natural number or whole number or integers or rational numbers. So we know that 4 is a natural number, 4 is a whole number, 4 is also integer and 4 is a rational number. Next coming to minus 6. It is negative number. So minus 6 is an integer, minus 6 is a rational number. It is not a natural number, it is not a whole number. Next coming to 5 by 3, 5 over 3. 5 over 3 is only rational number. It is not a natural number, it is not a whole number, it is not an integer. Next coming to 0. Can you guess? Can you say, so 0 is a whole number, 0 is not a natural number, 0 is integer, 0 is a rational number. Next coming to square root 9, square root 9 is 3, square root 9 is 3, so 9 will be natural number, whole number, integer and rational number. Next is cube root of 8. Cube root of 8 is 2. So 2 is also natural number, whole number, integer and rational number. Now 34.7. Is it a natural number? It is a whole number. Is it an integer? No. It is only a rational number. Next, representation of a rational number on a number line. So, we have read number line in lower classes. So, it contains your 0, positive numbers are uh, your right side and negative numbers are left side. So, we learn how to 
put rational numbers in a number line. So this is the number line. We will put rational number means 1 by 2, 1 by 3, 3 by 4, 3 by 7, anything we can put. So now we will mark 3 by 4 on this number line, 3 by 4. So 3 by 4 is between 0 and 1. So I'll divide 0 and 1 with space between 0 and 1 in 4 equal division. And first one, first one from the right side the 0 is 1 by 4. Then it will be 2 by 4. And third will be 3 by 4. So 3 by 4. This. Just left to 1. Next is express 4 by 7 on number line. So what we'll do again 4 by 7 is between 0 and 1. So we'll divide 0 and 1 place with 7 divisions. Then we'll count right side 1 by 7, 2 by 7, 3 by 7, 4 by 7 so on. 4 by 7 lies between 0 and 1. So it will be this 0 0 is 0 by 7 1 is 7 by 7 so I first divided into 7 parts 7 parts means we'll put 6 lines in between we'll put 6 lines in between 1 by 7 2 by 7 3 by 7 4 by 7 5 by 7 so next is we will mark We'll mark what? We'll mark 4 by 7. So 4 by 7 is your number we marked. Next. Next you mark 17 by 5. 17 by 5. 17 by 5 in number line is So we'll divide the space between 3 and 4 into 5 equal parts. First will be, we'll mark from left 3 and 1 by 5, 3 and 2 by 5, 3 and 3 by 5, 3 and 4 by 5. So the blue mark is your 17 by 5 or 3 whole 2 by 5. Next is express minus 2 by 3 on number line. Minus 2 by 3 it lies between minus 1 and 0. So it is left of 0 negative sides. So we'll divide the space between 0 and minus 1 into 2, 3 equal parts because 3 is the denominator. So first we'll, be, we'll go from 0 to left side minus 1 by 3, then minus 2 by 3, then minus 1 is 3 by 3. So, blue colored mark is your minus 2 by 3. Now, can you tell the natural number between 2 and 5? How many natural number they are and what are they? Yes, you can say they are 3 and 4. Can you tell the integers between minus 2 and 4? Of course, you can say they are minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3. You can say. Now, if I will ask, can you find integers between 0 and 1? Can you find integers between 0 and 1? Certainly, you will say no. Because there is no integer between 0 and 1. But, you can find thousands of rational numbers between 0 and 1. That is the surprising world of rational numbers. 
between 0 and 1 we can find rational numbers let us find how to get it 0 means 0 by 10 1 means 10 by 10 so you can find many numbers 1 by 10 2 by 10 3 by 2 or 10 so on it can be written as 0 0.1 0 0.2 0 0.3 so on so we can put in the number line also 0 0.1 0 0.2 0 0.3 they will be in between 0 and 1. So, decimal numbers can be also represented on the number line. Now, can you find some more rational number between 2 by 5 and 3 by 5? Yes, we can find. We will write 2 by 5 as 20 by 50 and 3 by 5 5 as 30 by 50. Now we can find as many as rational number we wish. So we can represent the number line also. We can represent 2 by 5, 21 by 50, 22 by 50, 23 by 50, 24 by 50, 25 by 50. So it, they will be in between 2 by 5 and 3 by 5. They can, we can find 9 rational numbers between 21 to 50 if I will go on increasing 1, 1, 1, 1 up to 29 by 50. If we want to find some more rational between 22 and 50 and 23 by 50, again we will multiply by 10 or we can multiply by 2. So I will multiply by 10. This will be 220 by 500 and 230 by 500. Now you take as many as possible between 220 and 230. So the numbers will be 221 by 500, 222 by 500, 223 by 500, 224 by 500. And if you feel you cannot follow from the video, please pause the video and write once you will understand better. Now to represent the rational number, the decimal number on the number line. So this is the number line 0, 1, 2, 3, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3. I am showing only one or two uh, presentation. Rest you can try yourself. Now suppose I want 2.3. 2.3 means it is between 2 and 3. So I will magnify the space between 2 and 3. We say we are zooming. So I will zoom the place between space between 2 and 3. So what I will do? I will magnify 2 and 3. I wrote 2 as 20 by 10 and I wrote 3, 3 as 30 by 10. So extreme end 2 is converted to 20 by 10 and right is 30 by 10. So again this line I divided 10 equal parts 21 by 10, 22 by 10, 23 by 10, 24 by 10. Now you will see that 21 by 10 is nothing but your 2.1. 22 by 10 is 2.2. 23 by 10 is 2.3. So you can find 2.3 2 from these numbers so 23 by 10 or this is we placed in the number line next I am going for a big number 0 0.425 first is when it is 0 0.425 that means it is in between 0 to 1 in between 0 and 1 so I divided 0 and 1 into 10 equal parts. So each part will be how much? It will be 1 by 10, 2 by 10, 3 by 10, so on. So it will be 1 by 10, 2 by 10, 3 by 10, 4 by 10, 5 by 10, 6 by 10, 7 by 10. 
now 0 0.425 is greater than 4 it is greater than 4 by 10 and less than 5 by 10 so what i'll do i'll magnify the space between 4 by 10 and 5 by 10 so 4 by 10 it is in between this magnify 4 by 10 and 5 by 10 in extreme end i'll get 40 by 100 multiplying 4 by 10 10 10 40 by 100 and 5 by 10 will become 50 by 100 again 10 division 41 by 100 42 by 100 43 by 100 44 by 100 45 by 100 so on now see 0 0.425 425 means it is greater than it is greater than 42 by 100 but it is less than 43 by 100 so next portion is I'll again magnify 42 by 100 and 43 by 100. So this portion will be magnified now. So it will be extreme end will be 420 by 1000 and it will be 430 by 1000. And if we we'll calculate it will be 0 0.42 that will be 0 0.43. So it is, this number is between 0.42 and 0.43. So when I'll divide and it will be 421 by 1000, 422 by 1000, 423 by 1000, 424 by 1000. So we reached here 425. 425 by 1000 is 0 0.425. So let us mark. So this is the point on the number line. Now I hope you have followed. You can practice some more questions. So then you can be expert. So some uh, thing about uh, this rational numbers. Between two natural numbers there is definite numbers of natural numbers. Between two integers there is definite number of integers but between two rational numbers there are countless rational numbers and more about rational numbers addition of the rational number is commutative addition of rational number is also associative Multiplication on addition of rational number is commutative. Multiplication on addition of rational number is associative. This is about introduction of the rational numbers. We will continue. Have a watch on um, upcoming videos. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share. Thank you.